Hello everyone, in this video, you will learn how to connect and configure a new sun for AM in bridge mode. Bridge mode is popular and most used for sun for AM. AM in bridge mode is installed as a bridge between firewall or router and call switch. In most cases, customers want to use AM functions, but don't want to have a big change for the existing network. So bridge mode can achieve this requirement. And also bridge mode support hardware bypass. When AM have some hardware issues or AM down, this is no impact to the existing network. The existing network still can use. First, you need to connect your PC to the IAM using an internal port. Usually, we use ET1. Set up your PC local address is 10.252.252.1. The net mask is 24. And using an internal browser visit URL, HTTPS 10.252.252.252. And then log in the default admin account with username admin and password admin. Go to System Network and click Development. In this page bottom, click Settings. And then we choose Bridge Mode. Click Next. In this page, you need to choose which port you use for one interface and LAN interface. Usually, AM use port 82. Connect to firewall or router and use port 0. Connect to the call switch. In other words, one interface is 82. LAN interface is 80. And also, we have an option to enable bridge state propagation or not. If you choose enable this one, it means in bridge pair ports. When one port down, and another port will automatically down. For example, ET0 is down, and AM will shut down ET2 automatically. This option we always use in network, then call switch or firewall detect the port. When finish the choose and the options, you can click the button next. In this page, you have the option configure the bridge IP or not. Whether we configure the bridge IP or not, it depends on the user network. If between firewall and call switch, they have the add IP. Better configure the bridge IP. If don't have the add IP, you can choose configure other segments that customer no use or don't configure. In here, we have the add IP, so we configure the bridge IP. When we finish configure the bridge IP, and then we click the button next. In this page. You have the option configure the management interface. Whether you configure or not depends on the last step. If you already configured the bridge IP, management interface is only an option. You can choose configure or choose not. But if last step you not configure the bridge IP, the management interface must be configured. This IP needs to connect to the internet, update the IAM database. So, when we configure finish and then click the button next. In this page, configure the default gateway and DNS server. The default gateway and DNS function is for the database updating. So, we need to configure the right gateway and DNS server. This this one in make sure AM can connect internet.
When we finish configure, we click the button next. This page is the configuration summary. You can check your configuration. There is the management interface, which interface you use, and what IP address you configure, and the bypass firewall rule, default gateway, DNS, bridge interface, and bridge IP address. When you confirm all of those information, click the comment. And then the IAM will give you a notice the device is required to restart. If you confirm it, just click yes. Go to system network, click routing. We can configure the static route here. We click it and input the destination address or segment. Netmask and Nexthope IP. And we keep the interface auto and then we click common. You can see here this is the state routing. Right now, you can browser in the internet using any computer that is connected to the central internal interface. You can view the traffic that has been processed and logged by your IAM by opening the web-based interface. You can see here, here, and here. Thank you for watching. If you need further details, you can visit community.sample.com to access our complete document library.